Are you tired of squirrels getting at all your bird food? For a number of years, I had this problem. I tried all kinds of contraptions under the bird feeder to try and keep squirrels out. And then finally, I hit on the perfect solution. I'm going to explain what that is in this video, and then I'm going to show you how to make one. It's a really simple DIY solution, and it works every time. The solution is one of these tubes that's hanging on the pole below the feeder. Now you can go out and buy commercial tubes, and I did that, but they don't work very well. And the reason is that they're too short. The one I bought was about this long, and squirrels have no problem reaching over it and grabbing this top piece. So what I did is I went out and bought a longer tube. Now this is a stovepipe tube. It comes in black and is two feet long. You also want an end cap for that. With a distance of two feet here, squirrels can't reach around and get to the top. That means they can't climb up onto the feeder. So that's the secret. You can get these at any hardware store and they're designed for the exhaust on a wood burning stove. Now this has worked great for about seven years, but last year, one of the squirrels learned to climb this. And the reason is that over that seven year period, this started to rust. And now the surface is not as smooth as it was before. It's rough enough here so that they can get their claws on here and climb up. But it's funny, I have about a dozen squirrels here and only one of them ever managed to get up here. It's time to replace this. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. First, I'll take this one off, then I'll build a new one, which is really simple, and put it back. pipe I'm going to discard and I'm going to replace it with this new piping. You can see the new pipe is a little bit longer which is okay. That only helps but you don't want to go any shorter than 24 inches. This is the piping you can get at any home hardware store and it's used for your furnace. The tubes come separate and you have to join this but that's really simple. Just hold the two pieces together and bend them in a little bit. and they snap together. I also use a top cap, which is this here, and I'm going to reuse this. There's also some kind of a ring on your system here to keep the cap from floating down. If you don't have one of these fancy rings, you can use almost anything here. Just drill a hole through the tube and put a longer screw on it. That will work too. Anything that's larger than the hole in the top cap. So now it's a simple matter of putting the tube in the cap, screwing them together, and turning the bird feeder back upright. Now I'll drill a couple holes, put the screws in, and we're done. metal self-tapping screws and they'll open the hole just the right size and they hold really well. That's the end of the project. I told you it was easy. You want this nice and loose so it wobbles. That discourages the squirrels. This needs to be nice and smooth so they can't get their claws into it. 
no squirrels on this feeder this winter and not for the next five to seven years. This is just one of my DIY videos for garden projects. If you'd like to see the whole series, including how to build rock walls and how to build arbors, click right here.